so the odds are supposedly swaying towards Rafa Benitez finding a way to stay in the employ of the King of Handcuffs Mike Ashley. If that is the case what does Rafa need to do in the transfer market underscore given some sort of leeway of course. Certainly he needs two strikers whether or not Solomon Rondon is one of them. He also requires a top-notch playmaker in the center of midfield and two natural wing-backs if he wishes to continue with three central defenders. That's just for starters. Of course there looks likely to be something of a clear-out as well as a recruitment drive. Andrew Shelby appears increasingly likely to end up leaving, something which would have produced shudders amongst supporters at one time. Isaac Hayden's loyalty to the cause in difficult circumstances will almost certainly be rewarded by a transfer south for family reasons and Matt Ritchie is supposedly seeking to take to his toes for one final big payday. Mo Diam will also go unless he accepts a one-year extension to his contract instead of two and Kennedy will not be bought permanently after falling way down the pecking order. Ayos Perez has of course scattered a few pigeons with his talk back home in Spain of buying a return to La Liga though Rafa could have an influence on how that pans out. Such uncertainty could mean up to 5 or 6 out underscore more if you include Dwight Gale and fringe keeper Rob Elliott, which means if all somehow went 5 and would not be enough. Of course Jocelyn and Kieran Clark as well as a host of fringe players currently farmed out on loan would be considered surplus to requirements if anyone came in looking or in the case of the first two they kicked up to go. Clark might, Jocelyn won't. What, John Gibson, Gibbo, will be live to tell his stories of mixing with the best of NUFC's stars when Thursday May 2nd where, the Worms, Newcastle how much, £5 per ticket which includes a free pint, and all ticket proceeds go to the NUFC fans food bank how do we get our tickets, click here, however what matters more to the faithful is those arriving to improve a squad which is in danger of standing still. Rafa has warned Ashley that it takes up to £75 million to get the quality we all want in the final third of the field which will only happen if the likes of Shelby, Richie, and Hayden fund a decent slice of it. United are pitiful in their pursuit of goals and need to somehow find an answer within the ludicrous restraints of Ashley's transfer pot and age barrier. The owner's policy makes each potential signing seem like the extraction of a tooth it's so painful and fraught with apprehension. Two wingbacks are required because neither DeAndre Yedlin nor Richie are natural inhabitants of those roles. Yedlin's wayward positional sense and hurried passing leaves an awful lot to be desired. On the other side Paul Dummett is equipped more for a flat back four than a marauding ball user while remaining a valued member of United's setup. The departures of Shelby, Diam, and Hayden would strip center midfield bare though United thankfully have the hugely talented Michael Carrick look-alike Sean Longstaff to return next season, but they still require quality on the ball and a newcomer who can fit the system Rafa loves to play which means high pressing anti-oxygen. A department where Shelby comes up short. Whatever happens this looks like being a summer of big comings and goings. Goodbye to stellar names, hello to others. May United get it right because failure isn't an option after what fans have had to tolerate in the name of their club.